Yeah, she's ranked 56 in the world at the current, uh, currently, but on her current form, you would uh, suggest that she's likely to head up the rankings pretty quickly too. Yes, yeah, she, she too is a young player, just 21 years old. Yeah, part of a very young and also very strong China squad that, that we see here today. I'm featuring in four of the five finals, and including winning a couple of titles at the Australian Open Grand Prix Gold last week. So they're uh, producing a lot of lot of good players in China at the moment. It sure is. So you can see a big height advantage to Xuan over Yamaguchi. What sort of an advantage is it in badminton? I mean, obviously it can be very, very useful in some sports. What about badminton? Yeah, definitely badminton as well. I mean, obviously it gives you a lot longer reach, so to be able to play the shuttle over you or to the side, you've got to be very, very precise with the shot. Um, but I think from Yamaguchi to reach the final, it's quite clear that she has that already, so it'll be an interesting battle. So here's Shuang Ding. She's the third seed, 21 years of age, ranked 56th in the world, career record of 23 wins and nine losses. She's won seven of her 10 matches this year. In good form is uh, Shuan Ding, and she competed at the Australian Open last week, got to the second round there. She's a quarter finalist at the Malaysian Open, and uh, she also was knocked down the first round of Germany, uh, the German Open as well recently, but uh, did win two matches in uh, qualifying. So Xuan Ding, the third seed from China, has uh, played particularly well to get to the final of the women's singles. But all the talk this week is about, about the performance of this young player, Yamaguchi, Akane Yamaguchi, the 15-year-old, just ranked 199th in the world. She's won 19 wins out of 25 in her career. She's only 15. She's playing her first senior tournament outside Japan. She played in the final of the World Junior Championships last year, lost to another Japanese player in the final. She's beaten pretty comfortably in that game, on that match, Nozomi Akuhara. Yeah, if we look at her road to the final there, she's beaten two seeded players as well. Yeni Asmarani was the fourth seed from Indonesia, who she beat. Uh, in the second round, and then Sui Yao from China, who she beat uh, in the quarterfinal after that. Yes, and uh, in that quarterfinal, she won 21-18 in the third game. So a uh, pretty testing uh, moment for Yamaguchi in that particular match, but she came through it particularly well, and she's been a bit of a crowd favourite this week as Akane Yamaguchi. So very talented young player who's got a huge career in front of her. And here's Shuang Deng's road to the final. Just dropping the one game in a semi-final match, a hard-fought match against Kang Hei Won of South Korea. Yeah, so both players have only dropped one set on the way to the final here, so it should be, uh, make for a very, very good matchup. Yes, I guess the big question from here is, can Yamaguchi, uh, will she be in the pressure moments, being so inexperienced at this level? Here's Justin Zhou of New Zealand, who is the umpire for this match. And Dorothy Callister, also from New Zealand, who is the service judge. So all set for a start in the women's singles final now at the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. Between Xuan Ding, the third seed of China in the far court, and in the near court, the 15-year-old unseeded player from Japan, Akane Yamaguchi. Oh, yes. Great shot there from Yamaguchi. I think we'll see a lot of that this afternoon. Glenn is stretching the Chinese girl from corner to corner. He's really looking forward to seeing how Yamaguchi plays. Nicely done there from Yamaguchi. Already she's shown her shot quality and her control to be able to place it in the corners and make the court feel very, very big for Shuan. Two love.
Well, you can hear support too for the Chinese class one. Yes. Very good again from Yamaguchi. First the control to play the cross court and then again to put a push to the forehand corner with the shuttle spinning is not an easy shot to play. Absolutely, Puts yes. Puts it away she with a smash down in forehand. Build, and build up to that uh, point was very impressive. So four points to one it is. And he's well wide. We're in for some long rallies, aren't we? We certainly are, yes. There hasn't been too many errors yet uh, so far from Yamaguchi either, so. Yes, you can see both, player, both players trying to get themselves into a slight advantage. Great shot there from Juan. Just it was the early push again that set it up, just dragged Yamaguchi off balance into his rear backhand corner and then came in with a sharp cross court attack to finish the point. Yes, both players are just trying to, as I mentioned, just search for that little advantage during a rally. They kept their opponent guessing as Yamaguchi did then. Exactly, yeah, slightly short uh, in the backhand from Juan was very important. If it's only even a metre short from the back line, it makes such a big difference. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's done that twice now. Yeah, I think we're starting to see a tactic open up here from, from Juan. Push it deep into one corner and then we'll follow up with a sharp cross court attack to the other side. Ding just getting into the first game now, but more. Sending messages to her opponent. Trails 5 6. Yeah, again, just a little bit flat from Yamaguchi. Didn't give herself the time to recover and then Juan popped that one cross court again. I guess there we see an advantage of being the taller player, Glenn. Like if she can get in between on a shot like that, whip a cross court with pace and then capitalize and take the point. Oh, good shot from Yamaguchi. Almost surprised, Schwan then. Yeah, she definitely wasn't expecting that. To be able to pull it back cross court from being that far off balance was a fantastic shot. So both players, it's seven all now. It's a 
testing little period here for both of these uh, finalists in the women's singles. Well, a little jewel ends with Schwan winning the point. Yeah, unlucky definitely Yamaguchi. She had, had control of that and had uh, put the shuttle where she was getting an easy one back, but unfortunately went for a little too much and put it in the net. So Shuan takes the lead for the first time in this game. A loose shot that time from Yamaguchi. Again, just a, a small change of momentum here, Glenn. She was 5-1 up and ran 9-7 down. It's very important now, just before going to the 11 interval, that she can get some of this momentum back. Great shot. She stopped her off there. Oh, great rally. Great range of skills from both players. Absolutely, Glenn. Great rally, that. It was good from Yamaguchi early on. She wasn't playing too close to the lines, but then as the rally progressed, she opened up a little bit and then was able to generate the point from that forehand corner of hers. So you can't separate the two players at the moment. Executed very well from Yamaguchi again. Yeah, she's had excess, uh, a bit of success in that corner um, from Shuan. That's three out of the last five points I think she scored, putting the shuttle on the ground and Shuan's backhand corner on the front court. So it'll be interesting to see if she continues to exploit that. And there's another one. Just wide. So Yamaguchi gets a bit more momentum into the break. It's 11 9. Absolutely, yeah, four-point turnaround there, so it was. Um, she now has uh, definitely a lot of momentum coming into the break. Yes, it's been a bit of a topsy-turvy game, hasn't it? She was up 5-1, then we saw Schwan take the lead, and now we've seen Yamaguchi claim four consecutive points. Yeah, it certainly has. Um, I think a couple of things that'll be interesting to see if they continue throughout the set is, yeah, like I said, the back end uh, front corner from, from Schwan, if Yamaguchi's already scored four or five points in there, so if she can continue to do so. There's a prime example of it. Um, it'll be interesting to see if she can still exploit that. I uh, guess that's what Schwan, Schwan's coach will be reminding her now. No, you better watch that little backhand shot of hers. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah. It's, a, uh, it's worked really well for her so far. So 11 points to 9 it is. She's 15 years old, Yamaguchi. And she beyond... She she uh, has got a big future and doesn't play like a 15 year old does she no definitely not. she's got a lot of maturity about her on court <laughs> just not able to get the roll over the net there Yamaguchi Just changing the shuttles, so Xuan Ning. Doesn't look like a player who gets emotional or easily rattled. Got a game plan, executes it. Absolutely, they both look mentally quite strong so far, these two. Well, that one's well out. Dare I well say wide. Uh, yeah, commentator's curse, yeah. they call that one, <laughs> Oliver.
it's hard to uh, pick which way this is going to go. It's very, very tight, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. I think from now on, again, it's just it's simply going to be the player who makes the least errors. It sounds obvious, but... Well, that was in. So an error that time from Schwan. Letting that one go. Great shot. Yeah, we haven't seen that for a while now. Again, she was pushing it deep into the backhand corner and then sharp cross got to the other side. Very, very good finish there from Schwan. Just out by a smidgen. Yeah, not by much. That one's wide as well. A couple of errors there from Yamaguchi. Pretty easy put away that one. Yeah, it was great net shot there from Juan to set that up. Well, Juan, nice little momentum shift in her favour now. Yes, that's four points in a row now. Yeah, it is. Again, a little bit flat from Yamaguchi again. She goes a little bit higher, she gives herself some more time to recover, but Juan was onto that very quickly, pushing it cross court. 16-13 in this all-important first game of the women's singles final in favour of Juan from China. Make that 17-13. Pulled wide. Oh, a splendid shot from Yamaguchi. Yeah, it's good. Just a little increase in speed there towards the net and followed up by a great net shot. Really needed that point, Oliver, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Six in a row. You need to break that very, very quickly. Again, opening up the court fantastically well with Schwan that time. Big pressure on Yamaguchi now. That's great play from Yamaguchi. Just when you think Schwan's going to waltz away with this first game, Yamaguchi comes back with back-to-back -back quality shots. Yeah, the momentum's been swinging all set, and I, think, I wonder if we're going to see it back towards Yamaguchi's favour again now. Very good from Yamaguchi again. Great spinning net shot to set that up, made it very difficult for Juan to lift that to the back of the court. She followed up with the attack again. Well played. Well, again, it's going to be a fascinating conclusion to this game, that's for sure.
Yeah, both players are starting to place a little more importance on the net at the moment. Just trying to get the lift of Yamaguchi going for a little too much there. mentioned their mental strength so f earlier in this game. It's very good, isn't it, from both players. Yeah, it is. A little loose there from Juan again. Yamaguchi is very quickly onto that. She has wonderful temperament for a 15-year-old, doesn't she, Yamaguchi? Absolutely. Big point here for her. Oh, that's a good return. Yeah, can't do much about that one, Yamaguchi. Serves a little bit short. Unfortunately, just made the difference. So that point to Schwan brings up three game points. Well, there it is. Fascinating first game in this women's singles final. It's gone the way of Xuanding of China. She's taken that game 21-17 over Akane Yuma Yamaguchi. So the third seed winning that first game and taking the advantage in the singles final match. Yeah, a few errors from both players sort of towards the end of that set, Glenn. Um, a little bit like the start of the mixed doubles, maybe it's a little bit nervy on, on finals day and I think once they start to warm up a bit in the second set we might be uh, seeing an increase in pace and, and the level of the match. It's been good so far though. So here is Xuan Ning, the third seed, on paper the favourite. Maybe not the on the talent stakes, fairly even, but uh, similar type of game from both players so far? Yeah, reasonably. Um, I think... Uh, Zhuang's court coverage got a lot better um, towards the end of the set. Yamaguchi wasn't able to secure so many easy points. Um, I don't know, I think if I was Zhuang's coach, maybe sell if she's in trouble not to try and do too much with it and just lift it at the back of the court and go from there. Yamaguchi's not doing that much unless Zhuang gives her the opportunity to, so you can be a little bit more uh, comfortable, I guess, in, in that respect from, from Zhuang's side. You saw some again, wonderful skills like from both players, didn't we, Oliver? Yeah. She's a very capable player, isn't she? She's really good, really capable of making, really winning shots. Just not getting the, yeah. the touch over the net there. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if she changes her game plan or if she sticks to what she's been doing uh, so far this set. I think she's been doing most of the right things. It's just been a few easy mistakes that just, I mean, four points is not much. A couple of mistakes and that's a four point turnaround. So uh, start to the second is gonna be very important. Hope you're enjoying our coverage of the finals day of Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. Good crowd is building up. And we're uh, in the women's singles final. First game has gone to Xuan Deng of China, 21-17. We start the second game. Again, good net from Juan, forcing the lift out the back from Yamaguchi. She's definitely made a change from the second half of the first set there, starting to play a lot more around the net, starting to pay off. She's got that one. Yamaguchi's a good comeback. Yeah, pinpoint there, right on the line. Juan Deng's mental strength at the moment, temperament, as we mentioned in the first game, is just seems unflappable at the moment. She's so solid. She doesn't look like she's going to be easily rattled at all, does she? No, not at all. She's definitely not making any mistakes so far. It's looking very, very good for her. Unlucky there from Juan. She's definitely made a move to pushing a little forward. 
Just so she can take the shot a little bit earlier on the net, and I think it's starting to pay off. Great shot again. Great point from Juan there. She was in control for almost the entire time of that rally. Yes, yeah, Yamakuchi was forced back towards the back of the court. Yeah, she's just not causing as much damage as she was with the drop shots now from the back of the court as she was early in the first set. Consequently, we're seeing Juan take a bit more of a stranglehold on this match. Yeah, still early days here in the second set, but she's opened up a 5-2 lead. And uh, the way sort of the, the feeling of the match is going, you think it's sort of heading towards her favour. Still early days, though. Oh, yes. Oh, no, it's called wide. Called wide. The initial thought there was... That was on the line. Very close call. Very close. Yeah, a little bit short and flat there from there. Yamaguchi again. Um, it's costing her. She can't quite get that lift over John's head. Six three it is. Well, again, Schwan winning these long rallies. Yeah, fantastic exchanges at the net there. Yamaguchi was unlucky not to come away with that one after she, she set it up so nicely, but Schwan just doing enough to hang in there and eventually come away with a point. Well, if you were Yamaguchi now, Oliver, what would you try and do to get under the skin of Schwan then? Yeah, it's a tricky one, Glenn, because I think like because of her height, it's hard to be put to push her around the back of the court, but I think she's just taking too much control and starting to dominate the game at the net. So if you can take her off that, push her back first and then bring it to the net so she's a bit lower uh, where she's taking the shuttle. That would be how I would try to go and go about it. I'm no lady singles expert, but... Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got a point there, Yamaguchi, to stay in touch. She trails 4-7. That's more of the Yamaguchi we were seeing from the first set. Tight drop shot. Um, Juan taking it very close to her ankles, and the Yamaguchi was able to come forward and, and take the net there. You see Coach Yamaguchi's coach looking on with a lot of interest. One thing Yamaguchi can't afford is errors. No, not at all. Just uh, struggling to find the back line, I think. Sort of going between a little bit too flat and then a little bit too high and too long. Which is tricky because she has been hurt from the cross court attack from Juan, so she must be in the back of her mind a little bit. Great control from Yamaguchi there, just a little net touch, a bit, bit of fortune, but maybe it might help turn the momentum around. Wow, high risk, high reward, wasn't it? It certainly was. John was right there and it just managed to touch the net and put her off with just a fraction. The shot here. There it goes. Ooh. Just enough to put her off the shot. Needed to be. It was like threading a needle, that one, wasn't it? Certainly was.
much to admire about the way Shuan continues to play. Yamaguchi is trying everything. But yeah. Shuan's got this fantastic ability to absorb everything that your opponent is throwing at her at the moment. Coming out the other end pretty comfortably at the moment. Yeah, good spin there again from Joanne. Very hard for Yamaguchi to control that one. And unfortunately for her, she makes the error. Well, we're approaching the break here in the second game. Yeah, Big point here, isn't it, for Yamaguchi? It is, yeah, it's important for her to get a couple back here, I think, or it's going to be trouble. Joanne in control. I think the way this is panning out, Glenn, is a classic example of how a tall player can use her reach to, to control the match. Um, she's coming in with a long arm, long racket, very early on the net, um, pushing Yamaguchi around the court. But then when Yamaguchi plays to the back of the court to try and open up a bit, she can attack with uh, steep angles and make Yamaguchi take the shuttle very low. So big pressure on the 15-year-old from Japan at the moment. Losing that first game, 21-17, trailing 6-11 in this second game. Done fantastically well to get to this position, hasn't she? Unseated player, playing her first senior tournament outside Japan, and she's made it all the way through to the final. Absolutely, yeah, wonderful, it's a fantastic effort. result for for her, even if she doesn't quite, or well, she might not come away with it today. But we saw a set, uh, half a set to go, so we'll see how it pans out. Yes, she. I wouldn't uh, write her off yet. No, you wouldn't write her off, but she's got a big job ahead of her. So 11-6 it is. Chinese supporters here at the North Shore Event Centre enjoying this performance so far from Xuan. Got their thunder sticks out. Yeah, another unforced error there from Yamaguchi. Unfortunately, she's going to need to stop these coming if she's going to get back into this match. Yes, indeed, Oliver. That's a good point you make. Too many errors off the racket now of Yamaguchi. Shuan catching the era disease. Yeah, just opening a small window of opportunity here for Yamaguchi. Let's see if she can take it. Great drop shot. Yeah, there it is again. We see four or five shots in quick succession played to her backhand in the front court again. That's where she's, she's been away from that recently. Maybe she goes back there. There's another error. So there's the uh, hot tip. Catch one near the net on the, her backhand side. Is in. Called in. Certainly looked in. Yeah, it did. Great shot from Yamaguchi. So Shuan thinking this one was long. Let's it go. And yep. Hits the line. Right on the line. Got it. So Yamaguchi mounting a bit of a comeback now. Five in a row, I think, there for Yamaguchi. So, again, momentum swing back in her favour. 
There's two yeah. points back now. Certainly a nice little twist in this women's singles finals match. Well, there it is, Yamaguchi. Fantastic point from both players there, Glenn. I was about to say, it was a shame the rally had to end, really. Tremendous play from both players. And it's ended with another point to Yamaguchi. Oh, what was it at uh, the changeover? 11-6, I think, wasn't it? It certainly was, yeah. Whatever a coach seemed to say at the 11-point break must have worked. So at that break, 11-6 since then. We've had eight points, and Yamaguchi's won six of them. Yeah, Juan just uh, taking a little break here and trying to slow things down and maybe force the momentum back in her favor. So it's a good time to do it. I think ever since the uh, scoring system changed in badminton about eight, nine years ago now, the, the run of points and momentum has been so huge um, and very, very important. So every little break you can take um, becomes critical. So 12-13, Yamaguchi. Playing beautifully in the last five minutes. Oh. Hard luck from Schwan. Great touch around the net from both players. Just drifting wide. Here it is here. Gets it over the net. Look at the angle on that one. But it was hit too hard. It was just too wide. Oh, oh that's great. nicely played from Yamaguchi. Yeah, it's a great push there. Just starting to be a little earlier on the net as well. Uh, what a tremendous scoring run we've seen Yamaguchi get on here. It is. Eight in a row. What a turnaround. She's got another one. Fantastic spell of points here from Yamaguchi. She's just starting to take a little more risk and play a lot closer to the lines, but she's not making the errors that she was before, and it's really paying off. Accuracy is just absolutely perfect at the moment. 15-13. A lot to admire about Yamaguchi right now. Oh, yes. Just the way you want to stop a scoring run against you. Yeah. Nice, easy put away. Certainly knew where that one was coming back. drop shots margin for error is just so fine isn't it difference between a brilliant drop shot yeah the mistake and nothing is a, is a couple of centimeters really well less than that sometimes I guess and now Schwan she's found that sharp cross court attack again and Yamaguchi gave her the opportunity and, and she took it It's just absorbing stuff, isn't it? Oh. 
Great pace there from Yamaguchi. Great clearance to Zwan's backhand side, and then she was able to push forward and, and capitalise on the pressure she'd created. She worked her opponent around the court beautifully there. 16 apiece, Oliver, locked up. Yeah, you can see the quality of the match has certainly lifted the set ever since Yamaguchi's run of, of eight points. It's going to be a fascinating five points either way here. Well, that was well wide, that one. Not the time to be making errors. No, definitely not. Oh, yes. Cool good by both umpires watching the lines. 17 all. This is big points coming for Yamaguchi here. Remember, Schwan took the first game 21-17. Yamaguchi needs to win this game to send it to a decider. Well, the accuracy quite, not quite there that time from Yamaguchi. one here just sitting up a bit too easily not dropping over the net as she would have wanted 18 17 wow. just when Hamaguchi wanted a, a cheaper point she got one 18 apiece. Big points coming here for Yamaguchi. Another era of judgment that time from Shuan, letting that one go, cool, good. Yamaguchi, 19 to 18. Shuan, again, looking to slow her opponent down. Great touch again from the Japanese player. That was a courageous shot at 19-18. Beautifully executed. Brings up two game points. So there it is, 21-18 to Yamaguchi. Wow, that was pressure badminton in the last five minutes. The 15-year-old has shown the mental fortitude there of someone much older and more experienced. 21-18, we're heading to a deciding game in this women's singles final. Wow, well, if uh, at the start of that game you would have thought it was Schwan who's going to waltz away with that game. She got out to a good five-point lead, 11-6. But then we saw Yamaguchi off the back of that break when she was uh, had a chance to regather herself, have a chat to her coach. She came out a different player. Got onto a massive scoring run, got the lead at 15-13, and from there she's held her nerve to close it out 21-18. Wasn't easy at times. Made a couple of errors here and there. But she was greatly helped by Shuan making a big error there on that 19-18 when she let that ball drop inside the baseline. Bad miss uh, judgment. That enabled Yamaguchi to 
close it out. Nerves of steel for a 15-year-old Oliver. Nerves Absolutely. of steel. Yeah, very, very impressive that to turn that around from a, a 13-6 defi deficit into a 21-18 victory was a fantastic approach from, from her. I think the key there was she was just able to find the back line. Um, in the first set she was playing, her uh, lifts were quite flat, so Joanne was able to get up with her tall frame and, and intercept them, but after that Yamaguchi was taking the shuttle high on the net and pushing her around the court. And uh, it certainly paid dividends for her. So uh, momentum uh, well with Yamaguchi here at the start of the third set, so we'll see what Juan can do about that. So 21-18 it is in the second game, 21-17 to Juan in the first game. Here we go with the deciding game. Well, if we're going to see play like that through this game, then bring it on. Brilliant play. Yeah, in the end, another judge misjudgment error from Schwan at the baseline. Fantastic court coverage in that point from Yamaguchi. It's a clear tactic there in Schwan to push her from, make her cover the diagonals from the uh, cross court and the forehand corner in the back court to the backhand corner on the front court. Covering a lot of court, but managed to do it very, very well. Nicely judged that time from Yamaguchi. Wow, Shwan had so much control over this match, didn't she? At, some, at uh, the early stages of that second game, and now... Yeah, Yamaguchi's definitely managed to wrestle the momentum back off her. She's um, a lot quicker, a lot earlier on the shuttles, and just when she's being pushed around, uh, enough to hang on the point just like that. And then Absolutely. Makes the error. And Shawan all of a sudden looks like she doesn't know how to get out of this. Uh, the control and the placement that Yamaguchi is uh, displaying is fantastic. And I love it. If you can keep that up, it'll be very, very good for her. Oh, that's better from Shawan. That's more what we saw when she was dominating early on in the second. Ta coming into the net early and taking the shuttle high. Not giving Yamaguchi the time to get there. That drop shot is working like a gem at the moment for Yamaguchi. Schwan's not happy with the call. Not the time to argue with the umpire when the shuttle drops right in front of him, though. I won't be able to see it that well from that angle, but yeah, exactly. So he's right in front of the umpire, so if he was going to overrule, he would. that drop shot she's got the shot to the backhand side in front of the net there of uh, Schwan just on a string at the moment certainly does yeah it is forcing Juan into a few errors as well as we've seen throughout the match and it's just from time to time but it's a banking point for uh, Yamaguchi just long wow both players just seemingly losing their poise a little bit in that rally Yes, nicely played. Yeah, there's that backhand corner again. Glenn, isn't it? Great net shot from Yamaguchi, forced a slightly weaker response from Juan, and then with the put away cross court. Couldn't quite reach it. Well, you picked it, Oliver, didn't you? Bring the taller player in closer to the net.
Davis has a splendid shot that time. Terrific shot from Schwan. Yeah, well, yeah, she just hovered back a little bit and waited for that one from, from Yamaguchi and she intercepted it and put it down with a bit of speed. And Yamaguchi couldn't quite get there. Well, coach of Schwan looking on. Soaking it all up. Looking forward to having a chat to his player. And the score, it's 11. Yeah, unlucky there from Yamaguchi. Just going for a little bit too much with the net kill. Put it on top of the tape. a big point for Chuan. I don't want to leak out of a three or four point lead. Trials 4-6. Yeah, both players making a few mistakes now just early on in the third set. We'll be going 47 minutes so we'll see how the fitness comes into this one. Who dribbled over. Who dribbled over. You need a bit of luck too. It's a fine line from Yamaguchi here. She's just trying to get the shuttle in behind Juan at the back of the court, but she was just able to get up, get up and inter intercept that one. Wide from Yamaguchi. A couple of little mental lapses from Yamaguchi early on in the third here. We've seen a couple of mistakes at the net. She had a, very, a shorter lift in and she put that one up the side. So maybe just going for a little bit too much here. She's got it right this time. Judge that very well to Chuan. Moved her opponent around very effectively there. Rewarded with the point. 7-6. Into the net it goes from Yamaguchi. So Schwan. She's really having to earn those points though. Yeah, she is. Uh, Yamaguchi is helping her out a bit here by trying to keep her in the, in the match, I guess, with, with four errors uh, recently. So hopefully for her sake, she can start to keep those out of the game. Well, it's survival of the fittest at the moment. Both players being fully tested. Eight, six in this third game. That's wide. Wow. Is this the little lead that Schwan was looking for? Again, just coming into that important point before the break again. Who can take the momentum into it? Great shot from Yamaguchi. Yeah, very well read there. It turns one around and he wasn't quick enough to put the shuttle back over the net and keep it in play. And, uh, Yamaguchi is just a teenager. She's only 15. She's playing in her first big tournament outside Japan, her home country. So a big stage for her. Big opportunity for her to move up those rankings. Great shot there from Juan. We see the sharp angle of her attack again from the back of the court paying dividends. This match, though, is very, very delicately poised, isn't it? Balance 
due to weight. It is, yeah. Big Even point here from both sides, really. If Blanc can get this one with an 11-7 buffer, it looks heavily in her favour. Great job there from Damaguchi. How she managed to lift the one before to the back of the court was a fantastic effort. Managed to keep herself on the point and then turned it around very, very quickly after that. Oh, that's well wide, that one. 11-8 it is at the break in this third game. Yeah, still anybody's game on this one. I think we saw what happened in the second set from a 13-6 deficit from Yamaguchi. So for both players, it's still all on here. Definitely. Schwan taking the first game. Remember, 21-17. Yamaguchi bouncing back in the second, 21-18. And now Schwan up 11-8. What do you think her coach is uh, saying right now, Oliver? What would you say to her if you were the coach? To Schwan? Yes. Um, yeah, I guess she's just got to keep doing what she's doing and at the moment, but without making any errors, like she hasn't really been so far, Yamaguchi's given her a, a few free points, but I'll try and go back to what I was doing early on in the match, baby, and find the, the way to attack steep down the side. Yamaguchi's a little, oh, she's quite a bit smaller than Anjuan, so she struggles if you can get it down quickly to the side of the court. Um, and she's won a few points there, but there's been um, few and far between at the moment. But if you can get back to that and then taking the net by being early and forcing Yamaguchi to lift higher rather than being able to push her around the court flatter um, would be the, the way to go about it. For my, yeah, again, for my limited ladies' singles knowledge. But <laughs> Some of those shot-making abilities from both players is very, very good. Great point from Yamaguchi there. It is, she's just making it difficult for Juan to attack with that, those angles I was talking about. Just by moving the shuttle around at pace, and Juan's never on balance, so she doesn't have the time to, to hit down and sharp with the control that she needs. Yeah, good from Yamaguchi again. Building up in Juan's backhand corner, trying to force her around the head. Off balance again, gets a short lift and then capitalizes with a cross court attack, forcing the error. Yes, nicely played. Yeah, great anticipation from Juan there. And see how fast the players are to capitalize on a mistake from their opponents. This is a great match, isn't it? This is just thrust, counter thrust. Just when you think a player is leaping away, getting dominance, the other comes back. Well, it was just wide. Small three-point lead opening up here for Juan. Fine uh, gutsy call by Juan there again on the baseline to let that go. Oh, great play, Juan. Yeah, great control there from the back of the court. Yamaguchi was very consistent lifting the right to the back line, but then one popped up a little bit shorter and she was onto it very, very quickly. Yeah, terrific play to keep Yamaguchi down there. Nice little lead now, Oliver, 14-10. Here's another one. Yeah, she's definitely taking half a step forward now and moving towards the net. It's, it's paying off for her five-point buffer. Although she had a, a 7.1 on the second, so who knows. Yeah, 
The time is starting to uh, run out now for Yamaguchi. She can't really afford to concede nine points now. Another mistake from Yamaguchi there. 16 10 now to one. Yes, you would think that time is starting to be the enemy of the 15 year old from Japan. 16 10. Yeah, she really needs to start making a move very, very soon. Yeah, clever there. Just take a small break, reset. See if that little break on momentum pays dividends for Yamaguchi. And it does. Great control there, pulling Juan to both corners at the front of the court. And he's going back to the tactic that was working well before. Absolutely, yeah. Great control as well. Playing very, very close to the lines. Oh, yes. You could see that coming. Yeah, very clever there from Juan, just kept pushing Yamaguchi into a forehand corner. Eventually got her where she wanted and hovered back there again to finish it off. Picked her moment superbly, 17-11, six point margin. Juan in the box seat in this final of the women's singles at the New Zealand Badminton Open. from Yamaguchi. Absolutely, just pushing Juan around the court until she had the opportunity and she jumped on it. She had to earn her point there though, Oliver, didn't she? Absolutely, yeah, Juan's playing very, very well here. Not making any errors at all, making Yamaguchi work very, very hard to, for every point she gets. So still that five point margin. angle on that shot cross court A fantastic touch there from Juan look at the angle there tell you, Yamaguchi wasn't far away from getting that one back though Easy point there for Yamaguchi. Take those at the moment. 13 18. Yamaguchi gets another back. These are crucial points, critical points. For her. Many more points that Yamaguchi concedes, of course. Danger territory big time.
she's got another two. Again, the tactic of keeping it on Schwan's backhand. Earns Yamaguchi more points. Much to admire the way that both players have approached this match. And uh, this player, 15 years old. Hard to believe. She's certainly not playing like she's that young, that's for sure. Showing us why she's made it all the way through to the final. And she's not going to go down easily at all. Schwan's conservative rallying there. Just waiting for her opponent to make the error. The tactic has paid off. Nineteen fifteen. You see Schwan really slowing play down. Very deliberately trying to not get her opponent any momentum at all. So Schwan just two points away from victory now, being a New Zealand Open champion. again fantastic touch from Yamaguchi well whoever wins this final is going to deserve it they have fought these two players and there's Yamaguchi getting a little frustrated her opponent slowing play down again. Called good. Called good. And the umpire from New Zealand, Justin Zhou, is happy with the call too. Gucci's coach was delighted clearly, but Schwan was not happy at all. But again, it was on the side of the court closest to the line umpire or the uh, chair umpire. Oh, that's reactions and a half from Schwan that time. Well, that was a pretty useful shot from Yamaguchi. But the reactions from Schwan bring up a match point. That's long. Hart was in the mouth just for a second there. One match point is saved by Yamaguchi. She has the serve. Second match point for Xuan Deng of China. Why was long again? Long again. Well, 
was a big opportunity for Schwan to win the match right there. Not to be. Third match point. Wow, well, that's three match points blown by Schwan. 20 all. Got to win by two points. So we're here for a little longer in this thrilling women's singles final. Well, sometimes you need a bit of luck to be a champion. And Schwan got all the luck there. Check it, this one dribbling over the net. Oh, that's hard and unlucky for Yamaguchi. Fourth match point for the Chinese player. Bit of gamesmanship going on between both players. Justin Zhou from New Zealand just reminding each player to Terrific shot to win the tournament for Xuan Ding of China. Really good performance from both players in this women's singles final at the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. But in the end, it's Xuan Ding of China who's taken it an absolute thriller. 21-17, 18-21. Twenty-two, twenty. Well, I've got to admire the way Schwan absorbed all the pressure there. The tenseness of the moments there. She blew three match points. And uh, that was the one that nailed it. And there is the joy of success for Schwan Ding. Let's head down to Oliver. After what was an epic match, um, uh, Yamaguchi, only 15 years old, uh, did you have a, a pre-match plan or what was the key to your victory today? Uh, 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 um, well, I didn't really think too much about the uh, whole tournament, but um, I, what I think is that I just need to uh, try my best to win uh, each ball and which game. Thank you. Obviously, uh, New Zealand's been quite good to you and you've uh, enjoyed it here. Do you think you'll be back in future for another New Zealand Open? Uh, 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 she hopes she can come back again uh, to uh, attend another tournament as well because she thinks uh, New Zealand is very really lucky to her and it's lucky place and help her to win the champion as well. Thanks, Shuan. Congratulations again on a fantastic victory. Well done. So there is Shuan Ding, the women's singles winner of the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open, a thrilling three-set match, which she won 22-20 in the third game. We'll be back with the presentation in just a moment. Same sporty DNA. The exhilarating is 
classy luxury sports sedan. Start your senses. Well, yes, we just had a thrilling women's singles match between Akane Yamaguchi of Japan and Xuan Deng of China. And boy, there was a lot of skill displayed in this match. The 15-year-old on the far court here wearing the black uh, Yamaguchi did a superb job through this match. She uh, dropped the first game 21-17, but came back to win the second game in thrilling circumstances. She was trailing by seven points. But boy, she played beyond her age, beyond her experience, big time in that second game. But in the end, the greater experience and uh, court coverage and I guess just the experience and real tenacity and mental strength and ability of Xuan then got the job done. But boy, she really had to earn it. 22 to 20. She had three match points. And uh, in the end, uh, Yamaguchi saved all of them, took it to 20 all. But uh, in the end, there it was. That was the point that won the match for Xuan Deng, the left-handed from China. And close it out and really win did really mean a lot to her, Oliver, didn't it? Yeah, it certainly did. Uh, you, could, you can see her there. She was uh, very, very happy with that. And rightly so. It was a fantastic performance. Great match from, from both players. And uh, it could have gone either way. All right, let's head to the presentation now. Players and officials onto the podium. And our guest presenters for this, the women's singles, Geraldine Brown, the president of Badminton Oceania. And from an extreme, Mr. Ong E. Hock, the former world number two. So a round of applause for our presenters, please. So ladies and gentlemen, a very worthy finalist and eventually the runner-up in a very dramatic match from Japan, Akane Yamaguchi. And she gets a sheep as well. So now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open Women's Singles, Dong Xuan from China. Congratulations to both of our finalists. And especially to our winner from China, stand together. Nothing like getting a Kiwi for winning a badminton tournament for Shuang Ding.